Hey YouTube, this is Crosby8871 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the um, iOS 4.2 Beta 3, Beta 2, and Beta 1 for basically any device except the iPhone, uh, the iPod Touch uh, first gen. So this will support the iPod Touch second, third, fourth gen, the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, and the iPad. And it's very simple. You do not need to have your UDID registered. I know it says up here you have to have your UDID registered, but you do not, okay? And it's no surveys, nothing. It's something really, really simple, okay? So you're going to have to download something to extract the file. So it's basically, you have to download an, uh, a, to a torrent extractor, or whatever you want to call it. So I use uTorrent, so you download uTorrent. Just go to uTorrent.com, download that for whatever you're using. Then you go to this website, I have links in the description, um, download.imodzone.net. So you look for your device, whatever you're using. For some reason, for me, my iPod Touch 4, uh, 4G won't restore to the 4.2 beta 3, but it's already on the 4.2 beta 2. I don't know why it won't, but my oh, the iPhone 3G will. It's already on 4.2 uh, beta 3. And same thing with uh, my old iPod Touch 3G. It's on third gen. It's on the uh, iOS 4.2 Beta 3. So for whatever reason, it won't. It just won't restore. I mean, well, it won't update to 4.2 Beta 3. So yeah, you guys can try, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work because it just won't work for me. But the 4.2 Beta 2 will. Okay, and Beta 1 will also. But so download for your corresponding device, so any of these, any of the iPhone, iPad, iPhone 4, any of these, you're going to hit this little button right here, any of these buttons, you're going to download that, you're going to get, um, you're going to get it, it's probably going to ask you where do you want to save it or something like that, just send it to uTorrent, somehow send it to uTorrent. And then you, sh you should get it loading, and then it should be finished maybe in a couple, maybe in an hour or less, give or take, depending on your internet connection. And then when you have that, you're going to want to open up your iTunes. Let me find something to cover up my stuff. You're going to open up your iTunes, and you're going to... Open up your iTunes and then you're going to okay. You're going to hit go, check for update. See it's 4.2. Now you're gonna have to hit shift if you're on a PC, and then you're gonna have to hit option if you're on a Mac. So I'm on a Mac, so option, check for update. Then you're gonna restore to the 4.3 beta, 4.2 beta 3. 4.2 beta 2 or 4.2 beta 3 or 1. So this is the 4.2 beta 3. So it's, it's already on my uh, old iPod Touch third gen. And for some reason, I it might be the corrupt file, but it, I, I don't know why that the iPod Touch fourth gen won't restore to the beta 3. So uh, I'm just going to show you with the beta 2. I'm not going to restore it completely or update completely because you're not going to lose anything because you're updating. iTunes thinks it's updating at least. So just go to this one, double click, and then you're gonna get update, verify, and then you're gonna you're basically gonna be good. You're gonna be done. And the neat trick about this is that um, um, you don't like you don't need to have your UDID registered anything. So that's the upside to it. So once again, you need to go to utorrent.com. Utorrent. utorrent.com download from Windows or Mac whatever you have then when you get that go to the um, this website download.imodzone.net download whatever firmware you need the 4.2 beta 3, 2 or 1 for your corresponding device then when you have that done you're going to um, open up your iTunes depending on which if you're on a PC or Mac you're gonna have to hit shift for Mac Shift, uh, check for update, or ch shift, checked up, check, shift, update, sorry. Uh, so shift and check for update at the same time, or 
option, check for update if you're on a Mac, and then just browse for your corresponding firmware for your corresponding device. Double click it, and you should get this, and then you should update and everything. Now for this, you have to make sure that you have, uh, if you have downgraded uh, for whatever reason before, and you have not redirected the server back to Apple server, so basically making iTunes think that it's going to Apple server again, which it will be going to, because this is the only way that you can actually either downgrade, or that you can restore your device, restore, restore, legit restore, no downgrade, nothing, or update legit legitimately, or the betas and stuff like that. Because you, if you saved your SHSH blobs and you downgraded through Cydia, then you would have had to, uh, you would have had to change um, the server, so you would have had to uh, delete Apple server and put in Cydia server to your hosts or whatever you use because on a Mac it's host and on Windows it's a Win32 something like that, I don't know and you have to put it back to Apple server so you don't get any problems restoring or updating so yeah okay guys so forget whatever I said that it doesn't work on the iPod Touch 4th gen um, it was it was the corrupt file, I was right it was I was corrupt, so I have to download it again. And as you can see, it's there. I know it says invalid, uh, error invalid. That's because I dragged it into my firmware file right there. So, yeah, and it's right there. Okay. So, I'm gonna just do, do it again. So, option for Mac, option check for update for Mac. Or uh, for PC shift update so option for me double click on that one and then you're gonna get update now I have to do this just wait. okay never mind it's not there goods now basically it's ext extracting the software with the iPod still normal Nothing, nothing happening to the iPod. That says verifying update with Apple. iPod still normal. <laughs> nothing happening yet. Okay, now it's preparing the iPod for soft drive update, and then the iPod turned off. Now it's turned back on. iTunes recovery logo turned white, screen turned white, now it's black. Now it booted up again. So I got the Apple boot logo, still there. Now I get the pinwheel at the bottom, then you get the status bar, now it says verifying iPod update with Apple. And I uh, will come back when this is almost done. Oh, now it says waiting for iPod, but I'll come back when this is like almost done, maybe like 30 seconds away. Okay, guys, so yeah. Okay, guys, so iTunes just popped up and then said a bunch of stuff that your iPod has uh, been restored to factory settings. Oh, wait, no, not restored to factory settings. Sorry, it said that uh, it has been successfully updated and a bunch of stuff. Now, if you heard that, it was the iPod, my iPod. Um, yeah, and it's our 4.2 software, uh, beta 3. Now, guys, believe me, please, but it, it, it is, it is on 4.2 beta 3, okay, guys? So, yeah, that's basically it, and it was a corrupt file, guys, so if it doesn't work for you the first time, try maybe just deleting the file completely, the firmware completely, and then downloading, uh, the same firmware for your device again see if that works and if not then something's wrong with your device and I might be able to help you so leave a comment in the section below um, if you have any problems so yeah guys comment rate subscribe and peace